Cheers! <laughs> okay, one, two, three. I'm scared. I don't know why. One, two. Welcome back to Louis' life, you guys. For today's video, I am gonna be doing, <laughs> como pueden ver, an antojitos mukbang video. <laughs> So I was about to make this for myself because I saw someone doing it on my feed. Y se me hizo agua la boca, like literally. My mouth's watering and I wanted to make it, but I was like, let me just record it for you too. Parece that it's gonna be super fácil to make, but let's try it. Espérame. Thank you, Shein, for sponsoring today's video. Let's get on out some pieces from my spring break capsule wardrobe featuring Shein Icon. Y también, don't forget to use my code SPRINGLOUIE for 15% off the Shein site. But okay, déjame les enseño my pieces. So I got these pantalones because I've just been living for like a little baggier vibe. And then the estrellitas just add a little something more. The material of this shirt is super comfortable and stretchy. It has a little knot right here and right here. Here she is. A a little bit up close. También agarré this blue shirt. I love the cutouts on the side. I know they also have this top in different colors, but I was living for the little like azul vibe. Again, they're flared from the bottom, which I love. I love the waist también. I paired it with this green shirt. I'm telling y'all, when spring comes, I just want to play with color. Okay, I know we're playing with color, but I had to get it in black también. But it's porque I wanted options, and they have a bunch of other colors for this top, and I really loved the cutout of it. Okay, look at this top. It's giving me like I'm going to dinner, like somewhere tropical, because of that little like fluff right here, pero también you can do like a little off the shoulder. <laughs> I love this and I cannot wait to wear this one out. They have this mesh top in different colors, but I really loved the red one. It has like little ruffles right here. And the skirt. <laughs> love the little X pattern that these like belts make. I know this is like an all black fit, but I still feel like it was giving me super spring vibes with like the cutouts and the skirt. And it has a full zipper. So if you want to put it like all the way up or just kind of leave it like halfway or even like leave it open, you can. Ooh, I love this shirt. This shirt is a bodysuit, so she's nice and snug. I've just been really loving how red looks on me, but I can also make this shirt a little off the shoulder vibe, or you can keep them both up and kind of just do a little this moment. I'm telling y'all, Shein's spring collection has so many good pieces. Shein has a collection for every single style. If you're trying to go for something sassy or you're trying to go for something casual or like streetwear, lo tienen todo. So if you're going on a vacation soon, <laughs> Or even if you just want some new clothes. Pero como les dije, all of the pieces that I showed you guys are from the Shein Icon Collection. All of the Shein products that I featured in this video will be linked down in the description box below if you guys want to grab any of them. And don't forget to use my code SPRINGLOUIE for 15% off the Shein site. Once again, thank you so much Shein for sponsoring this video. But alright, let's get back to cooking. <laughs> I know I'm not the only one that loves antojitos. Porque ya sé que ustedes siempre se les antoja when I make something like this. Es que huele bien rico. Y si, ya me lavé las manos before any of y'all come for me. All you need is your sandía. This, oh. No! Uy, ya está todo sucio. ¿A quién se le antojó? You need these little dulcecitos. So I got a couple of flavors. I even got like a little blue one and a little red one. And then these. I have my little chilito. I have to try some porque. Just to help me with my mouth watering. Y aquí we have some ketchup. No es cierto, no es cierto, no le creas. We have some chamoy. This seems like too easy. Like I'm actually going into this one being like facilito. This is my watermelon. I don't know how to tell when watermelons are like good. So I'm hoping that this is. Like, do you knock on there? Like, do you taste test it? I don't get it, but let's hope that it's good. Y que según yo voy a guime. It's all chueco. Oh, it smells good. Y'all can see I cut them hella chuecos, but that's okay. Once you cut your avocado. I was about to say your avocado. Once you cut your sandia in half, you flip it over. I think you make like little slices. 
Ay, está saliendo bien chueco. ¿Cómo estás? I cut it into five sections. Y ahora le vas a dar una vueltecita. And you're gonna cut again this way so it makes like cuadritos. Do you know what I mean? No? Okay. Mira. Move me. The paletas. Oh, no. Me. Also, me. Estas no van a servir para paleta. Let's try it. A ver si está rico la sandía. Mmm. Mm. Okay, let's make the paletas. Now with your palitos. <coughs> Something like that. Oh, these look hella cute. Ah! Oh! Did y'all see that? A quien se le sigue antojando. Y'all are messing this up. As I was saying, aquí están some of the paletitas. I didn't want to make a bunch of them porque I don't know if I'm really going to love it. Okay, so to decorate it, you grab your little sandia paleta. I'm going to go ahead and do a red one first. I guess you just like wrap it in this. Pero hazlo bien, like you want it to like overlap vibes so that the full thing is coated. <gasps> This is actually easier than I thought. <gasps> Wait, it ran out. No! I wanted it to look like all cute and aesthetic. Voy a agarrar otro. I'm gonna use two. Porque si voy a hacer algo, quiero que me salga bien. I want it to look and taste warm. Doa quam. <gasps> it's actually like sticking on to the sandia. Mira. <gasps> it looks like it's still the sandia, huh? Okay, I'm so tempted to just like <laughs> bite it, but I'm gonna do all of them. Okay, this sandia is hella big, but I'm gonna try it with this dulce since it has like more coverage. Oh no, it's not gonna stick. Mm -hmm. No, you guys, this no se pega. Oh, you know what that means. Mm. I have to, you guys. I made a blue one, pero I don't have another blue one. And I don't want to leave it like that porque I just wanted it like double wrapped. I'm gonna try to do like the little combo color. I think it's like purple and red. So I think I'm only gonna make these three porque I don't have any more colors. And also because, yeah, ya se me antojo mucho and I want to eat it already. Oh, this looks so good. Okay, now, aquí están los tres that I just made. Oh, I got a splinter. From the palillo. Be careful, y'all. Okay, so I'm gonna grab the little purple one. I'm gonna dump it into the chamoy. And now into the chilito. But I want it like fully coated, y'all. Oh my God, this looks so bomb. Y'all, this looks crazy even on camera. Oh, did you guys see that? <sighs> Literally, you guys. Cuando les digo that even the most simple thing I can mess up, I mean it. Miren lo que acabo de hacer. So I was holding it like this and it completely slipped out. And it just fell on the floor. Ugh. I'll put it in another one right now, but yeah. In the meantime, look at how bomb that looks. I just slipped the little cascara blanket into another one. And now doing the same rutina. Just make sure you guys literally like get in there. Really make sure it's fully coated because I feel like that's what's going to give us like the best flavor. Okay, now, aquí tengo número dos. If your mouth's not watering right now, you're hella lying. I know you aren't. This one's like the triste tona one because I wasn't able to like fully coat it, but ni se nota like once you put all the chamoy and stuff. So I guess that's fine. <sighs> aquí tengo my paletas after literally telling y'all how much my mouth's watering. I'm so excited to finally Taste the sandia paleta. I don't even know what to call these, but all right. Miren esta que deliciosa, dude. Cheers. <laughs> okay, what, dude? I'm scared. I don't know why. One sec. Mm. 
Oh, I don't even have to say nothing. Y'all, for all my dulceras out there, for everyone who loves all these things like I do, oh, hold on. I know your mouth's watering right now. It's so good. Mm, so worth it. I knew they were gonna be good, but like, not this good. I literally didn't know what to expect because covering it in the chilito, I was scared that it was gonna be like too sour and I was gonna be like, but this is so good. Like I literally cannot stop showing you guys the inside. Mmm. <laughs> okay, wait. <clears throat> I just tried the little like um skin by itself or the dulce. Not the same. So this is what I thought the whole thing was gonna taste like. Literally my eyes watering. Like if you just eat the pure dulce with the chilito, so sour. Like literally so sour, but with the sandia, it like balances itself out. All right, girl math. <laughs> me when my trainer tells me to eat healthy. With the sandia, it's healthy. 10 out of 10, like, oh, this is so good. So remember when I made like the little sandia locas with like a bunch of dulces and stuff, like, that's good, but because it's basically almost the same thing, I expected the same kind of like flavor, but this is like a whole nother level of that because you put like all the dulcecitos in there, you even put like the little chilito and stuff, but it does not taste the same. Like something about tasting all three of them at the same time. Hold on, okay, one more bite. I said I was gonna do another one, but one more, one more. Mmm. <clears throat> this was the little blue one. I think that's blueberry flavor. That was really sour. First bite was good, but after, really sour. But the red one, bomb. I really hope y'all give these a try. It was super easy to make. I mean, you guys saw that. Los ingredientes was like something you can get really quick at the tiendita, that's what I did. Definitely gonna be making these again. So if you're hella dulcera, you love antojitos, try these, so bomb. But all right, you guys, I'm gonna finish off the video right here. Thank you so much for watching another video. Please let me know any other video suggestions down in the comment section below or any other antojitos that you want me to try to make. And make sure you give this video the biggest thumbs up. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace, bye guys.